everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I have a review two pack for you. We're going to take a look at two hairdo styles, both brunettes, as a part of my affordable series. The full review and comparisons coming up. I purchased both of these styles from Wig Studio One for this review today. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you expand the description box below, you'll find a direct link to both of these styles. If you have any questions about these styles, you can reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. They're always ready to help. I really do love exploring the hairdo line of styles. They have a lot of different style options to choose from, a very nice price point, kind of a no frills brand, very easy to wear. What I'm wearing right now is one of the newer releases by Hairdo, it's called the Flirty Flip Wig. It's easy to see why with all of this flippy texture. Um, it is a short, it's a cute short little shaggy cut. It's in the color R11S Plus, which is glazed mocha. Glazed mocha is a light, a brown base shade and that brown is more ashy in tone and then this particular piece is really heavily highlighted then with a gold blonde like a medium to light gold blonde now on these hairdo styles they offer a very limited color palette so you're likely to see maybe one or two blondes one or two brunettes maybe a red um, and then perhaps if you're lucky a gray shade so this short little shag has about a four inch, about 3.75 inch bang. This bang is just so practical to wear. It has a nice 4.75 inch crown. What you get with the 4.75 inch crown is just a really cute profile. And I love how these slips just really accent that crown layer. It's a really nice silhouette. It's very flattering style. Now you'll see some stacking in the back that culminates in a 2.25 nape. Um, that's kind of short, but I think it is ample for nice coverage unless you have an extraordinarily long biological hairline at the nape. So this is um, the flirty flip style. The other one looks identical to this. So you can see the open wefts on the top sides and back. There's always a piece of velvet there at the front, it makes it extremely comfortable. There's a bit of a hidden weft there as well to help obscure the hairlines. I think they do an amazing job with that. There's a lot of fibers spliced into that ear, open ear tab, as you can see. There's an extended open nape, and there's Velcro style adjusters. There's quite a bit of stretch on this cap. I suspect that it's average right out of the box. I did have to cinch it in as far as it could go to accommodate a petite average circumference. Um, in a lot of cases, you're not gonna get a huge amount of lift on the top, and uh, it's kind of flat until you get in there and start working that permatease layer a little bit. All of the styles in the hairdo line are heat friendly. They use the True to Life fiber. Um, they're made by the same parent company as uh, Raquel Welch Styles, so they're using that heat friendly fiber in the hairdo line. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce uh, the number two in our two pack of reviews today for hairdo and then at the end I'll go ahead and do a side-by-side -side so you can see these styles indoor and outdoor light plus a little bit of styling so number two in our two pack of hairdo reviews today is called the short shag wig style it's in the color glazed hazelnut which is R829 S plus another cute short shaggy do with an amazing price point and, and just really high style. Let's take a look at this beautiful brunette. So it's a medium brunette base color all over and then it's very heavily highlighted with a like a light ginger blonde. And again very liberal use of those highlights especially on the top and at the crown. So this style is literally right out of the box. I took it out of the box last night, gave it a shake, and just kind of hung it on my robe hook, getting ready for today's review. And when I put it on, all I had to do was just kind of fluff it with my fingers a little bit, but that's it. No product, nothing else is needed. This has a lot of built-in shaggy 
texture. So that front bang piece here is going to be right around three and a quarter inches. It's kind of a dirty cut bang, meaning it's sort of notched cut and, and heavily razored and texturized. Get, that gives it a really nice wispy appeal. Can be swept off to the side, worn straight down. It's always going to be out of the eyes. The crown area is around five and a quarter inches and it has a beautiful little profile in the back and a two and a half inch nape. I feel like the nape really does offer some really nice coverage back there. Kind of scoops around the ear very nicely and hugs the nape. And then there's some layer, additional layering on the sides. And yet another style from the hairdo line that's super lightweight, right around two and a half ounces. It's just an open cap. It does not have any lace or monofilament. This short shag wig also um, just has a very light density to it a very limited permatease. So it's just a PC texturized look all throughout the top. And then the nape really comes together in a, in a very beautiful, sophisticated way. And, the, and, there's, and it's punctuated so nicely by these highlights that you can really get a sense of that feathery texture all the way back. What you have to remember though is that this is a very form fitting style. You're not getting any volume at all on the sides. You're getting a little bit of fringy layers that come down below the ear on off of the ear tab. texture hairdo styles are really fun and versatile to style. I also find that on all the hairdo styles that I've explored that the glasses fit neatly and comfortably between the ear tab and the ear. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.